Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. Last time we incurred a pretty big loss in the Astral Plane. Huh. You're on your feet again. Good. You gave us all quite a surprise back there. We've lost four legions and one of our best officers. This is a serious blow to Neuron. To make matters worse, while you were all on the other side, the Aegis Research Institute came under attack, which would be trouble enough on its own. I don't imagine the timing is a coincidence. They hit the Legion production facility the hardest. It will be months before it's operational again. You understand where this is going. Your Legion is the only one that we have left. Naturally, we can't expect any sympathy from the Chimeras. Their attacks will only get worse. So, at least until Legion production resumes, I'm restructuring our task force with you at the center. But the new structure is a simple one. All other Neuron officers are now chiefly tasked with supporting you. Of course, you'll all be working with the conventional police to dispose of aberrations and gates, as usual. <laughs> Relax, please. I assure you, you're more than up to the task. I saw what you can do. I was quite impressed. Up until now, our officers have merely summoned their legions and kept a hand on the leash. But you are different. You and your legion are in perfect neurological harmony. You can control it as easily as your own hands. Surely you felt that harmony flowing through your own body. As strong as a chimera. No, stronger. Dare I say, I couldn't ask for a more suitable hand on the Legatus system. You've already exceeded my expectations, Howard. But I digress. Given time and familiarity, you and your legion will become even more powerful. The Chimeras won't stand a chance against the two of you. It is a heavy responsibility, being the savior of humankind. But it's yours now. There's a special program in the training room that I think will be of some use to you. I had it prepared in case someone like you came along. It should help you get used to your newfound strength and unlock your legion's true potential. See the terminal in the training room if you want more information. So today, we have quite a bit to do around headquarters. I don't think we're going to get to go out into the field at all, but that's fine because we still have quite a few cool things to do here. First off, we have to stop back at the toilet ferry. Because remember, last time we were in the field, we found a toilet and we, uh, we liberated the final square of toilet paper in that sector of the city. So thank God, another day saved. We managed to avert the toilet disaster. But oh no, one square will simply not do it. How can this toilet fairy possibly bless this toilet with a mere two squares now is what we're at. Because remember, we gave them one before. Oh, I guess we'll have to gather more. I would really love if the plot of this game came full circle and tied into the apocalyptic toilet paper shortage uh, that the Ark is suffering. Because in the women's bathroom, there was one square between all those stalls. Out in the field, we found one square. Shit's really dire! It's really bad out here! Uh, so we have some new training programs. We're going to be introduced to a number of new mechanics, both in the training programs for combat 
and, oh, hold on, and outside of the training program. Training's part of the job, too, you know. Oh, so, so speaking of jobs, I just remembered I've still got a whole mountain of paperwork to file today. Um, I mean, cars to chase. A whole mountain of cars to chase. Speeding cars. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I'll be back to show you around the station soon. I promise. And hey, I'll let you in on one super convenient secret before I go. Come on, lean in. There, with Lappy's secret shortcut, you can zip around the station in a flash. Well, old Lappy will be back in a jib, partner. Enjoy your training! <laughs> oh my god, Japan loves mascot characters. That's <laughs> delightful. We also have our fast travel menu unlocked. That's great. And, like, hey, my dad just got trapped in hell, but this is fine. It's Lappy the Police Furry, here to brighten my day. Congrats on becoming a Legionis! Not just anyone can do it, you know. Let me explain a bit about your new abilities with the help of this special program courtesy of the Commander. Choose a training program, partner. I will also say, don't be mean to furries. That's the most broke shit ever. Don't do it. Furries kind of fucking rock. Uh, by the way, speaking of furries rocking, they had the integrity and intelligence to, as a community, reject the alt-right and nip that shit in the bud. Uh, when they tried to court furries. Capital G Gamers didn't do that. Special dual attack with both you and your legion. While you and your legion are fighting if you give birth when you... So we kind of know about the sync attacks. I explained this a little bit last time. This is more of a proper showing off of the mechanic. So when you flash blue, if you hit the call button for the legions, you'll do a special attack. And then you can kind of chain a few of those together sometimes. And we'll be unlocking more instances and more ways to perform unique sync attacks. Uh, like there's an upgrade coming up where we can get a sync attack off of a perfect dodge. And then there's also more that we can do. Like uh, slashes and slash stance. This is basically just a Zandatsu from, uh, from Metal Gear Rising. And we're also multiple energy currents. You'll have to cut through them all at the same time. 
and we're now using much more of our of our controller real estate. We have a lot more buttons to manage now, so combat is already becoming much more complex uh, with the addition of sync attacks, with the chain jumping, with all that stuff. Now with this mechanic as well, and the manual control of the legions and all of the abilities that come with that. Yeah, counter slashes! So the focus part of this is the only thing that I don't really love, uh, just because it's an awkward button. So first, we have the Legion out, we hit the button to initiate the slash, you control the angle of the slash with the left stick, and then pressing down on uh, the right stick is what activates focus. That last part, I think, makes it a little wonky. It's still basically a parry, though. A really cool version of a parry. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, it's a cool animation too. It's very smooth. We don't really know what activating astral matter like that actually does. So, if you come across it in the astral plane, try it out and let us know what happens. That's all for this program. Let's see, so we have chain jumping. We already know about that. They taught us about that. So let's go straight into chain jump attacks. So. So we know when we hold ZL down and hit ZR, we chain jump. So we also know that when we tap uh, ZL, oh, oh, it feels so good. And then you get the sync attack follow-ups and stuff. So you can tap to send the Legion out and then immediately hold the button in ZR and you'll get that instant chain attack or, or uh, you can do it much more slowly. So you can also hook your chain. You can also hook your chain around objects and enemies. And you can angle a chain jump around these things, like around enemies or around enemies. Did I say enemies twice? Objects and enemies. It kicks ass. Deal a little damage at the same time. It's super useful, so keep it in mind out there. We already have so many little discrete mechanics that we're picking up. What's up next? Uh, what's up next is just sparring practice. So there's nothing else new that we need to learn right now. <laughs> Looks like you've got the hang of your legion already. I mean, if it were me, I'd be using that thing to try and save Dad right about now. <sighs> Can't believe the commander. He's so obsessed with Chimeras, he hardly notices Dad's gone. But Dad's still alive out there. I know he is.
now we get to some cool shit. Some more cool shit, I could say. This game is all, uh, pretty much all cool shit. But Legion Learning. This is going to be the majority of our upgrading. And then the rest of the upgrade uh, stuff after this and beyond this, we'll get to uh, in about the next minute or so. But we have Legion Learning and we have a whole sphere grid of abilities. Attack power-ups and abilities. So passive stat-based things along... Oh yeah, the summon swords! Perfect calls. We'll get to all of this. Just showing you how deep this rabbit hole goes. Uh, for now, very first thing that we're going to do is a sync attack after a perfect dodge. Something I mentioned before. Uh, so we have gene codes in the bottom left. And each upgrade is going to cost a certain amount of them. We can also get an attack upgrade. Just a little passive stat boost on top of our new ability that we've activated. Which is going to come in handy. Uh, that perfect dodge sync attack is super good. Uh, power charge, hell yes, for the sword legion. It's like an install super for it. Uh, it has a cooldown, but you can activate it every now and then and just give it a big ol' attack boost. And then you can also equip uh, certain stat boosts on it. You also have to equip the move Power Charge. And for abilities, we only have one slot for that, so we're just going to increase its speed by its movement speed by 5%. And given that Chain Jump is going to become a large part of our mobility as an officer, the faster your legion moves, the faster you move. So those weren't the only upgrades available. Because remember, we have our own personal weapon. Technical division. From expaton upgrades to special gear. If you need that extra edge in combat, they've got you covered. Oh, if Lappy's here, that can only mean one thing. You're getting the grand tour, huh? Name's Tabitha. Tabitha Bernard. I'm the genius in charge of tuning up and tricking out y'all's gear, especially the Expaton and Legatus. Huh? Wait. Oh, don't tell me. You're not actually taking that Expaton out in the field, are you? Why, it's practically stock. No, 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 that won't do. Wait, I'll get it fixed up for you. Or shoot, I would. I forgot I'm all out of material codes. But there's no way I'm letting you walk out of here like that. You might as well be naked. Hey, Ted? 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 I'll tell you what. I'll start setting up if you'll go get Ted's attention. Tell him you need material codes. So we have the gun form and the baton form. Oh, oh, sorry. But we know that there's more than that <laughs> because we saw, for instance, Max using something very Garcia, different. At your service. So, uh, who are you? Oh, right, you're one of the newbies. Material codes, huh? Well, you have to go through the proper procedure. Gotta keep track of our inventory. So we're gonna grab a freebie from Ted. Uh, this is gonna be one of the few times you can buy just a free material code for an upgrade. Then we're gonna take it over to Tabitha and really get some good Hi. shit going. So this first upgrade will unlock the Gladius mode. It's just a big cool longsword with its own moveset and its own stats. Then we can also upgrade uh, the baton itself. Just a stat upgrade and it adds a charged attack to it. So every time you upgrade it, the stats not only improve, but you also get a new uh, part of the moveset unlocked. And then also upgrading the Legatus. 
which is all we can do for now. Mm -hmm. you can use your ex -baton's Gladius configuration. You know, Jin and Captain Max swear by it. Oh, speaking of the captain, I forgot I have an order of his that I never got to deliver. That camera should have all the upgrades he asked for. Even Camaro should show up nice and clear now. I even threw in a data card for free, so you can start using it right away. We even get a little bit of a photo mode. Hey, let's try that. Come on, partner. Take my picture. Alrighty, Lappy. <laughs> this is cool. Oops, that's not it. Oh yeah, it's right on the D-pad. Looks like it works. Hang on to it until Max gets back, okay? He'll want to see all the pictures you took. What all right. Partner? So by the way, you thanks to nice Ghost Bear Lab for pointing this out. The Toilet Fairy has a Japanese mythological basis in the Akadame, which is a yokai that lives in bathrooms and laps up Phil. Now also recall that years ago, I did a Fallout 3 episode named Slurp from the Toilets. Coincidence? I think not. How deep does this conspiracy go? Well, the CIA doesn't want the truth out there, but I've stayed silent for too long. So here's the 